You curl up on the couch watching your favorite Saturday morning cartoons. You just finished your first bowl of cereal, but you want more. And the boss is way over there. We got Potter Daredevil here joining us to help me make a super Saturday morning cereal bowl. So I got you here today because I hate those little bowls that come with the matching plates. I want a super Saturday morning cartoon cereal bowl. Okay. And I don't have to get off the couch and put a, make a second bowl full. I can get all at one time. And I want you to teach me how to make one. Can you do that? I can do that. All right. Do you have an example? Oh yeah, I got a great Saturday morning bowl right here. Mm, a little smaller. <laughs> no, how about this size? How's that one? Ah, uh, that is perfect. All right, so we can make that today? Yep. Well, cool. I think we can, uh, that will accommodate all my needs. Sounds good. So how'd you get into doing pottery stuff? It's not a real romantic story. It's not spectacular. Um, I was actually, running late for a class at West Georgia College and I was cutting through campus and conveniently went through the girls dorm section and I was trying to get over to humanities and just cut through a random room and I interrupted the class. Um, professor looked at me, he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh man, I've always wanted to do this. He's like, okay, uh, you need to register for a design class. And I was like, no, no, I, I want to do that. It's just a whole row of wheels. He goes, yeah, you got to take this class first. And I was like, okay. and I. He told me the exact numbers of the class I need to get and the rest is history. I went immediately after the Monette's class to the registrar's office and got signed up and man, I got into it so much. There was nights so I just kind of spent the night in the lab. And just, I've been doing it over 20 years now. All right, so let's get dirty. Let's do it. Okay, so to get started, we gotta, we gotta get some clay. So how do you figure out what size? Man, I usually weigh it. I have some scales, but um, I can eyeball it pretty good now over time. I've gotten decent at eyeballing about the size we need. You, you just kind of know after a while, this will be a little bit over about a pound and a half. Yep. So that's, so about your that's size pretty about... big bowl right there. Okay. But, so you know, I mean, I see the size you want. I know the size you want, so we'll go a little bit smaller. And it may look big, but by the time it's fired, it'll shrink maybe about 10%. Okay. All right, so you got some tools here. Yeah. Uh, will we be needing any of these tools today? Um, probably just a sponge today. Okay. Why just a sponge? Well, um, college professor said it best. It's funny and it's simple, but he says, I, I remember someone asking, why do we use a sponge? He says, because a sponge holds more water than your hands. And it's silly, but it's a fact. Well, my... Right yeah, that's right, man. So you have some of these other cutting tools? Yeah, I just do light trimming. As I've gotten older, you know, being a potter or, or and doing pottery, I, I've made it simpler, you know. In right. college, you do stuff like you're told and you yeah. do a lot more trimming, and now I just try to cut out a lot of trimming. Now I kind of buy tools as a novelty. So this I is a, a cool pretty, one about. Pretty unique. That is actually a, a college rib that I was messing with and it makes a pretty cool foot. See, I just cut the end on it right there and it makes a pretty cool funky little foot there. So I guess we're ready to get. Yeah, man, let's get going. We got an electric wheel in our desk. Works kind of like my car, I guess. Yeah. We just rev it up a few times. <laughs> you can do that. And if I get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so from here, just get the wheel. Just kind Turn of, it on, I'll give you a good speed. About right there. So where, where are my hands need to go first? You want it centered, and that's the toughest thing about it. You want it so that it's not moving anywhere. There's no odd little bumps. You want it even all the way around. Okay. And then uh, you just want to gently find the, where it's not moving around. You okay. start pressing down, and then just slowly go to the bottom. Don't forget, don't hit the gas. Just take your foot off the pedal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm gonna be covered in mud. Yes, that happens too. Sometimes I get in here and I'm not even paying attention. I just sling mud everywhere. I'm making a donut. In your right hand, being a guide, get a good place in there and just gently start pulling over okay. to your right. But secure that entire side of clay. So you gotta come out more, go to the bottom and just pull over. Yeah, it feels like I'm just gonna rip it apart again. Yep. It's getting wobbly, is that a? Yeah, let's see. And all I'm doing is holding my hands 
very, steady. very still. Yeah. Basically just letting the clay is forming to what I've done. Now let's step back and slowly <laughs> look okay. at it. Hang on, let's look at it. Let's see where the base is. It looks like a good ashtray. Okay, we <laughs> we are really in a good place right now. So from here you want to go as tall as you want your cereal bowl to be. Put your fingers together and just gently come up. Do a slow pull up together. You see how it's opening out? If you're putting more pressure with your left hand pushing out, your bowl is going to open up. Okay. Now, if you do the opposite, your bowl will close up. You got clay you can use. If it's thick at the bottom, you want to bring that up. You can get more height out of your clay. Do you care if I mess with your bowl here? No, no, no. I'm just going to hold it even, let it travel in between my fingers, and that'll take out some of the bumps. Drying it can be a science to itself, but down here in this new studio, um, I have got a pretty good setup where it dries fairly even. But yeah, if it's thicker in some places, it could cause it dry uneven and crack. That's a good looking bowl, man. That's not bad. What do you I think? Mean for me, I know what I'm doing, and you uh, hold my hand through most of it. I think it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're good, man. All right, so where, where do we go from here? Uh, from here, we'll pop this out. We'll let it dry. And what I'll do, here, you take that, man. That's yours. All right. So when that gets leather hard, we'll just, you'll, it'll, it'll come right off. You will never force it off. I mean, some guys cut them off, but that's the reason I have this bat system. Okay. I can leave that till it's ready, till it's dry and comes off when it's on. We'll do some very light trimming around the edge. That's just so you don't scratch your hands. And uh, you can sign it. It'll be yours. And okay. We'll, we'll do a firing. We'll let it get completely dry. So and just and do we'll, one firing? or is We'll there... do a bisque firing, and that's where you remove the chemical water. It removes the water and leaves the stone. And then we'll glaze it and high fire it. And when you high fire it, it um, vitrifies. Where the, where the water was, I guess there's air pockets there, well, it vitrifies it. And that's where the shrinkage comes in. Well, cool. That's nice. So do you have a nice blue to match my eyes? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I trust your judgment. Have fun with it. And uh, through the magic of editing, we'll be back <laughs> with my brand new bowl. And we're back. The whole time travel thing's a whole lot easier when you got movie magic. So time for the big reveal. Let's see what we got. Very cool. That's exactly what I was looking for. I think I can get a couple of bowls of cereal in that thing. Cool, you like it? Yes, man. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. And can't wait to try this thing out. You know, as an artist, I always enjoy being able to create something from nothing. Anybody get a little muddy this time? This is definitely a skill that takes a while to master. As you can tell by Darren having to hold my hand through the whole process. I guess we can cue the ghost music now. Oh my! We don't have licensing for that. Uh, okay. Well, I want to thank Darren for coming on. You guys go check out his Mud Group Pottery page. Y'all like and subscribe, or even tell us what your favorite cereal is. And as always, follow me in that natural. <laughs>